after a dry January, uh, winter is back, so just be prepared. A snowy Sunday, and we're not out of the woods. Another round of snow will impact your Monday commute. Our team has you covered. On this special post-Oscar edition of Denver 7, a 360 question. Can you separate the artist from the art? Evil people, kind people, they can all make great art. Do you still enjoy the movies? Knowing what we now know about Harvey Weinstein. Yes. No. He's a volunteer firefighter. Plus a man who volunteers to risk his life to help complete strangers now fighting for his own life. We have no idea what anything's going to cost, and I'm horrified to even know the numbers. Tonight, like so many Coloradans, this family is weighing cost versus care. So Denver 7 is doing something we have never done before, paying off more than $1 million in medical debt, no questions asked. And we will get to those big stories in a moment. First tonight, the snowy roads are causing a mess on I-70 in the high country. We saw cars sliding off the interstate. This video was taken on I-70 near the Loveland ski area. And then another major crash on I-70 has the westbound lanes of Vail Pass close to Copper Mountain. Look at that. The semi spilled 50 gallons of diesel on the highway. No estimate on when that will reopen. And those are just a few of the crashes, all while thousands of people make the trek home from a day on the slopes. In fact, things were so bad tonight. CDOT was encouraging skiers and snowboarders stay the night up in the mountains. Just drive home tomorrow so they can get a better handle on the roads. And we have live team coverage for you. Denver 7's Gary Brode is tracking those road conditions. And first to Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson, who's of course tracking the radar as another round of snow is heading our way, Mike. <laughs> well, here we snow again with this storm coming in. We had one this morning and there's another one on the way for Monday. Taking a look outside now, it's cold out here. The roads right outside our studios are relatively dry, but watch out for icy spots and stretches. How about those temperatures. It is really getting cold now with single digits and teens in many areas across Colorado. We'll drop a donation and click on help firefighter David McGill. He's a monster. Attacked and assaulted in her own home. I was gagged and then I had an ace bandage wrapped around my head. Tonight, a contact seven investigation. Her attacker, a murderer sentenced to life, is leaving his cell to get 15 minutes of fame. The snow stopped falling for the night in parts of the Front Range, but we are not out of the woods. Another round is set to impact our Monday evening commute. At first, I think we were just shocked. Plus, the day of their dreams shattered. Weddings, quinceañeras canceled after an events venue suddenly closes, leaving people in limbo. Most of the venues don't have our date available. Tonight, our community is stepping up to make sure these families get their special day. I mean, I was hogtied to a bed. My clothes were taken off. I was assaulted. A victim still struggled with the images of her attack inside her Aurora apartment more than two decades later. And he's a monster. Her attacker now getting his chance to come out from behind bars for his debut on the big stage. It's a prison. It's a punishment. Tonight, and only on Denver 7, Contact 7 investigates convicted criminals leaving their prison cells to perform and why some are pushing for a change in policy. And first tonight at 10, we are under a first alert action day. We saw snow today and more is on the way. We had over 26 inches of snow during October and November. We had a fairly dry December and January, but now we have topped the average snowfall in February just in the first nine days for the state. And we are about four inches mm -hmm. above average for the season. Oh, and we are not done yet, <laughs> friends. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson is joining us. And Mike, people should expect a slick evening commute. Yes, tomorrow evening will be a slick one. Right now, it's just cold but quiet in the Denver.